guys, welcome to a brand new Blue Eyes Gaming video. A Blue Dragon Gaming video. Right, sorry I'm done one in a while. I know I've been nagged and nagged and nagged to do some more videos. But this time is no longer Yu Gi Oh! I'm going to one of the other card games I would say I do this channel this time is called Magic the Gathering. Yes, I have got a couple magic cards, so don't blame me if I don't you can then do magic. Magic is a much harder card game, I will admit, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, well, if you've done Pokemon, it'll be easy for you. But if you've done Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's not so easy. I would suggest learning Pokemon before doing this, but if you want to go show to this, I don't mind. It is a bit hard, though. Right. With Magic, you would need sleeves, I will admit. I'll go through each different type of card review at this time. For this video. Instead of me doing like all set videos, it's quite an easy one to do with doing one video. So there's a token, that's a creature, that's a, that's a thing, and that's a land, right. These are the main cards you have to worry about through the magic game. Yes, I know they're all different colours, but bear with me. In the world of magic, there are six there are five elements instead of the normal six that you get in you go. The five elements are forest. Island, mountain, plain, swamp. Oh, and there's a six, which is um, which is normal, which is a white card. Currently, at the moment, these are each one of the different types of cards you can get. There's a spell, a token, a creature, and a land. There are different types of spells which I will go through with you as this video goes on. First off, we'll look at lands. Land cards have the L, have the type of one it is. So this one is a mountain. Sorry about the glare of the sleeve, I know. So this is a mountain card. This is off the new sets, which is, um... I can't say it. This was the preview pack I had a couple of years, months ago. So, yeah, I put them in nice green sleeves as well to keep them safe. Um, right. So, this is a fire, so this is a red one. A blue one will, of course, be blue if it's, if it's saying island. A white, a yellow, a yellow one, or goldish colour, would be, um, would be plains. A black one would be swamp. A green one is tree or forest. And a plain one would be just be a diamond. But these come in all different colours. The symbols are to show you which set they're from. This one is currently this set. The I can't remember its proper name, but yeah, it might be that out there. When you play Magic, it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, but not so much. I will admit to that because I went from Yu-Gi-Oh to this when I was when I was having a bit of a break away from Yu-Gi-Oh and all that. Currently, in my in my little game shop, this is the first game I have to learn. This is what, right, in, in this, you have a life gauge, which is this dice. It's a 20-sided dice. Most people have never seen one, but this is a 20-sided dice, right. Where's that little symbol? Right. This symbol is 20. And as, if you look here, on a monster card, which for this one is, this is uh, an island card. You've got a type, which this one is a creek, pay, you you may pay add four to the cost of a spell. Uh, for to add four to the cost of a spell. So yeah, and then you have the ability fly, which when it's a flyer, it means it can go over opponent's monsters. The way it goes that a car it kind of goes like that. You must play an island before oh, you must play mana which is the name of these, they're called mana or land cards. You must play mana before you play a monster. You have to equal the mana to the cost at the top of the card. Because then this one says two and water. I know it's very bad focus, but it is two up there. A two cost mana, oh there we are, two cost of the mana. So I need one water and two of any other colour. This deck currently made out of this set was a red, well, a tree, 
as you can see, Blair. Where's the water, Mama? Where's my water? Where's the water? Where's the water? Where's the water? Where's the water? There. So currently, if I played, so like say it's my third turn, that's in my hand, and I've got on the field one fire, one water. So I'll go for that one now. Summon is a enchantment. That's in the sense that I need one more monster. I need one more type of card. Which one is it? Legendary creature. Legendary sorcery. I'll go into the sorcery. Okay. So, see, all these cards are in my hand for basic game. I'll have to look at the mana cost be here. Currently, the, the, the lowest mana cost I make out of these is that. So, I'll add the creature. When you summon it, it has this thing they call summoning sickness, meaning you cannot attack on the turn it comes out. So then you say, pass my turn. So then you pass over to your opponent. Your opponent then does what he needs to do. And then next turn, you go, I attack. You tap it, but I turn it sideways and it's attack. That means it's attacking. Now your opponent has got the chance to block with his own creature. So, yeah. Right, here's the embed bit. In Magic, like in Yu-Gi-Oh, you have spells. This is why I mean it's cross Pokemon. Pokemon have this type of format, like the lands and all that, but they have um, elements, and the creature letting tap, but instead of them allowing you to attack first turn, this one allows you to have summon sickness. Next, you have spells. This one's an incense. I'll go for each one of these in the abilities. A sorcery. And an enchantment. Uh, these also come in random colors, like blue, like in the original ones, because this was a green, because this was a forest war, uh, for forest island and mountain deck. It was basically something pretty quick to build when I built when I did the tournament. But right. enchantments can work whenever you want them to. And same thing is, it's got the same lab here, so I mean, I could also play this if I didn't want to play the monster. Currently, that one, through the stage, so on my first turn, when the fire enters, damage one damage each, one damage to each creature without fly. Because mine has fly, mine will not take the damage. My opponents will add two fire manas next turn. Third one. If suffered by a mountain, if you do this first, Emperor, destroy free, free damage to each creature. So any, so say that first creature you put damage to, then you can deal another three more damage, and if it's destroyed, it's destroyed, then your monster then can quickly attack. But they only last for a turn. Sorcery, sorceries like increase your monster like this one increases anything which is um this one like d rank was so ruins like loads of monsters but also returns like creatures to your hand then you have in then you have incense say like opponents attacking you play the mana that you got left and then you summon out him you charge for one tree mana and one of those by the way you have to tap these as well to get the sorceries to work you turn them sideways to tap them okay so, when that's on the field, you know, it says put one one on a target creature. So I've targeted to that, so it's equipped. And this monster now becomes a free free. So if I swing now for an attack, person's ability allows them to get another one one, so that means it's a four four. If the opponent's monster is like a two free, I whip. My monster's not destroyed, but his is. But, or if it was a five four. He would destroy my monster, and I would destroy his, and so they both go to the grave. Grave, you put them to one side, and they're not allowed to be played ever again. No, only a certain amount of cards can bring them out of the grave. Not many, but only a, man, only a certain amount. But, yeah, that's basically how you play, um... As, um Magic the Gathering. It's basically quite a short game to understand. If you just follow the rules, if you normally most game shops do it, they do this thing called Friday Magic. If you don't do that, make have ask at the game shop do they have a game night that you could probably have a go of it or something like that. I know by me on a Thursday they do a game night and I go there. 
I was there last night. I was doing um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Warhammer some of the boys I actually train with. If you watch this video, boys, I gotta make some of you cards are getting pretty good. But I would say pretty good. And the one with Zark, please don't bring him. Otherwise, I will make a deck to destroy him. Because, I mean, you he stops all special abilities. Yeah, I have cards that count a lot. So, watch him. So, yeah, this Blue Eyes Gaming signing off. Oh, yeah, this month's giveaway, I have to figure it out. It might be the winner will get to have, well, like last time, as first place, but I'll do it for three places now. Whoever, the three, or I'll do it for the top two winners, can have a tag team battle royale against me. I'll be when you be a tag team. But here is the thing. If you're playing against whoever wins, they'll be doing a tag team match against me. Just me, no one else. No one's battle royale. But you guys, your guys' life points will be giant. And I'll be gaining whatever life points you would have had. Just to warn you. So, yeah, that's blow up. this Blue Eyes Gaming sign now. Please like, subscribe for more you can for more contact on more gaming. If you are looking for my YouTube channel, and I do say Blue Dragon Gaming, it is Blue Dragon Gaming three thousand. Look for me. Like, subscribe. Please leave some comments and please leave some more videos. Like, please leave some. Suggestions for new videos. So, right, Blue Dragon Gaming, signing out, and keep on gaming.